It seems like your comfort zone should be risk-free, at least in theory. But is it really? What are the risks associated with staying in your comfort zone? That's what this episode is about. You're listening to Peer Light, where we explore how you can believe in yourself and be happy with who you are. My name is Eileen. I'm a coach, writer, and yoga and meditation teacher. This is episode 123. So after I recorded the episode about two kinds of uncertainty a couple of episodes back, I realized I wanted to expand on that a bit more. So just to quickly recap, there's the kind of uncertainty that life throws at you, the unpredictable stuff like the pandemic or a flight getting canceled or running into someone you haven't seen in 20 years. And then there's the kind of uncertainty that you create for yourself when you decide you want to step outside your comfort zone and take a risk and go after something you want. So you're vulnerable to potentially failing. But I think there are different qualities of uncertainty that you can create for yourself because it isn't always the kind of uncertainty where you're pushing for your own expansion and evolution. So most human beings are on autopilot almost 50% of the time. So most of the time, we're just reacting automatically to whatever's going on around us based on how we've reacted before. So we're, we're acting out of habit by default. So in order, to, in order to do something outside your comfort zone, you have to break that pattern. It requires a conscious choice. It requires awareness in the moment that the choice is being made. So I think what can sometimes happen is because we are on autopilot so much, we end up not making a decision about something. So there may be something on your mind that you want to do or that you think you should do, but it doesn't necessarily translate into action. And that's actually one way of creating uncertainty for yourself. But it's the kind of uncertainty where you're stuck in a state of indecision, thinking about doing something, but not actually moving forward. And it's kind of stressful because it's constantly weighing on you energetically. It doesn't feel good. It feels like you're stuck. And the worst part is that it's unintentional. It usually isn't a conscious choice to be in that state. And it's actually very frustrating because it perpetuates indecision and staying stuck. Because you're basically waiting for something to happen. So you're on the passive side of the spectrum when it comes to your relationship with life. And you're using your nervous energy to fuel indecision and inertia instead of channeling it into action and forward momentum. And at some level, I suspect this has to do with safety, with trying to protect yourself from being vulnerable to risk by staying where you are. Which means that at another level, there may be an underlying belief that something like, if things don't turn out a certain way, I will not be okay. Like, if I fail, I'm a failure and I I can't handle that. Because if you were totally okay with the possibility of things working out and with the possibility of things not working out, why wouldn't you do it? Being able to accept all possible outcomes is essential in order to move forward. Because if you're not okay with all the possible outcomes, you won't move forward. You'll stay stuck in a state of perpetual indecision. And even though technically you might be inside your comfort zone because you aren't actively pursuing something that's outside of it, it probably won't be that comfortable because of the stuckness and the stress that comes with knowing that you want something, but that you aren't willing to go after it. When you want something to change, but aren't willing to do anything about it, that's what creates stuckness. And it also fuels self-negativity because that's the birthplace of thoughts like, I should be doing this, but I'm not. Seth Godin has said, it's riskier to avoid risk than it is to take it on. If you aren't taking risks, you aren't giving yourself the opportunity to be brave, to be courageous, and to grow. You're setting yourself up for feeling stuck. And you're also potentially setting yourself up for some self-judgment. So in that regard, staying in your comfort zone is risky. But when you accept the uncertainty inherent in trying something new, in stepping outside your comfort zone, you open up possibilities for the future. You also free yourself from that stuckness and from that potential self-negativity. So to get to that place of acceptance, ask yourself, am I willing to believe that I'll be okay no matter what happens? 
And am I willing to show up for myself and for what I want? If you know someone else who needs to hear this, please share it with them. And if you enjoyed this, subscribe and leave a review wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, may you be guided by your light.